Well, Kathy, thank you so much for the time that you've taken to sit down with me today. We met at the Signature Talk in Wisconsin, of all places, a few weeks back, uh, honing in on our Signature Talk and how to present ourselves in the best way possible. And so I am so appreciative. It was such a pleasure to meet you in person. You have such an amazing story, and I loved the conversation that we had on that first morning. And I'm just so excited for our call today. So I'll let you take it away, but thank you so much for the time that you've taken today. Well, thank you for having me, and uh, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to meet you. You are quite an impressive young lady and going very big places, and that's what I think started our call, and then when I found out that you had this podcast to share wisdom, I thought, oh man, I could have used this at, at my point at, at 17 years old and, and uh, rising between that young adult stage and still being a kid. So um, a little bit about me. My name is Kathy Carley, and I am the founder and a marketing strategist for Built Brave Marketing. And the marketing agency that I run is uh, founded on financial services because I have a 30-year background in financial services, and I hate to count the years. Usually, I just say 20 plus because that's a lot anyway. Um, but anyway, I... Uh, I found that in order to, for my vision, my vision became as I met more people and talked to more people as they didn't know a lot about money and where to invest it and what to do with it. And it was causing struggles, particularly in a time like we are in right now. And so my vision became to help as many Americans as possible, if not all become financially literate and help them create cash flow. And I felt the best way for me to do that was to help the financial advisor and financial services professional reach more people, which is how my business got started. So um, the Built Brave name uh, came because I had a, I, I was lucky and blessed. I had a father that uh, told me I could do anything. And so I, he instilled in me that brave concept. I believe in the Bible, God, uh, Philippians 4.13 says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So um, I was listening to a song and it was called, You Make Me Brave. And I was like, bingo, that's the name of my company. And so that how it starts. So the biggest piece of advice that I would start with based on just my company name is you are all brave, no matter what your background is, whether you've ever had somebody tell you you are brave or not, you are brave. You can do all the things. And um and I want you to feel like you can and somebody is cheering you on. So whether we've met or whether we will ever meet or talk or have a conversation, it is so important that you as a young person know that what you're thinking in your head that you want to accomplish for your life can happen, is possible because you are brave enough to make it happen. So I do want to do want to say that. What else do you want me to talk about? Well, first off, I think that is really, really incredible. And I think that's super inspiring because I think being brave and courage, those are such powerful words and topics and emotions to invoke in front of people. And I can definitely see that you are helping people become brave in their own too. And I think that's really, really cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I hope that. I feel that um, particularly with young ladies, I think there's such a difference of what's expected from us through body image and face and appearance. And then you, you guys are dealing with social media that I didn't deal with and the pressure of likes and hearts and comments. You know, we just shut the door and, you know, didn't hear about it. So, uh, you know, it's, a, it's high pressure for you. And so there's a few things that I would like to give you to take um, into the world from my experience. And, um, and that is whatever vision that you have in your head for yourself, uh, whatever it is uh, that you wanna achieve for yourself, it is possible, you can do it. Um, here's some tips, find a mentor who has done it and do not take advice from anybody that has not because you will get bad advice. Um, they mean well and understand that they mean, even if it's your parent, they mean well, they love you. But if they haven't been a surgeon and you want to be a surgeon, then you need to get advice from a surgeon. Um, and so, the, and invest to get yourself in places where, say, for example, surgeons hang out so that you're rubbing elbows with the right people. So whatever it is, if you want to be a billionaire, then find a way to get with 
people that are making a half, you know, a half a million and then a million and then a billion, because you probably won't get all the way to the billionaires that, you know, right away, but work yourself into creating, joining clubs, association, reading the books of the people that you want to be like and their materials and studying them. The next thing that I would say that I did so much, I wish, I'll tell you, I did it so much that God actually was like, she's screwing her life up so bad that I'm just going to pick her back up and put her where she started and went wrong and start her all over. And literally he has done that, but don't quit. Okay. Um, I found that I, when it got hard, I quit. I cannot tell you how many quits I have quit. I have quit jobs. I have quit marriages, sometimes justifiably so. I have quit everything that I have ever started. I have quit. I was, I am a recovering quitter, okay? <laughs> I, mean, I was addicted to quitting because I didn't like the pain. And so if you're going to be successful in life, you're going to have, you're going to get to a point where you want to quit. You aren't going to want to quit doing this podcast. You're going to want to quit the career choice that you have. And what I'm saying is if you've had success at all, no matter how small, that means you can do it. And you're at a point where you're being tested if you've got the, the fortitude and the perseverance to push through. So if you're in a place where you're thinking about quitting, don't quit and, and keep going another 30 days and another 30 days. How do you run a marathon one step at a time? You don't just get there. Um, okay, the next one made lots of mistakes on this one. Do not settle on your partner, okay? This is big, coming from somebody who's been divorced three times, okay? That was not the vision I had for my life. Um, I settled because my parents told me that I was high maintenance and that I was never going to find somebody. And so it resonated and I thought, well, are they right? I mean, I know they love me and they are always telling me I can do anything, but I'm never going to find somebody. And so I settled. Now I settled with my first husband and he was a great man, but we were just not compatible and we were not going down the same path. Still think he's a great human. Then I settled again because I wasn't healed from that. And then I settled again because I wasn't healed from that. Now I am married again, but do you know who, this is where I say God gave me like, oh girl, you are so messed up. I married my college sweetheart that I wanted to marry when I was 19 years old. After 27 years, yeah, I'm a slow learner. 27 years, we finally pulled it together and we are happily married and working together and, and, and raising kids together and all of that. So do not settle, write a list, stick with your list, let all the naysayers say you're too picky and all the things that's okay. No one has to live with your trauma more than you do. And you don't want to self-induce that kind of a trauma because it is tra traumatic going through all of those things. Um, you had asked me about the most proud moment. Most proud moment I did was a brave moment. And that was when I decided that I wanted to pursue foster care to adopt. And so um, through that, I was very blessed and I have adopted um, my son who is now 12 from an infant and my daughters are twin and they're his biological sisters. And so I have three kids um, within the 15 month gap. So it was like triplets, um, but I'm really glad that I did not get scared from fostering and adoption. And so that was the one thing I didn't quit on and it really paid off. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. Do you have any questions on? Uh, no, I don't think I have any questions. I mean, I can ask, I think of some, but I think what you had shared is really, really powerful advice. I loved how you're talking about, you know, you're right that it's really hard with the pressure of social media to portray such a perfect image of yourself and to add on to the stress that teenage girls already have and to blast it to the world is really, really difficult to live with. And I'm really thankful that I was able to kind of come to a conclusion a little bit earlier in my life that, you know, I don't want to care about this likes. I don't want to frame my way, frame my life, frame my emotions and how I project myself 
on you know a few things that I see on Instagram or Facebook or otherwise right. it's so limiting so I will tell you this you just pushed me because I keep a secret that I've been married that many times <gasps> but I do because I'm not proud of it but what but I feel so strongly about making the decisions that I made that I don't, if I'm talking to someone so much younger with a fresh slate, I want to save anyone from going down that path. So thank you for inviting me and pushing me to move on with my life, accept the, the trials and tribulations that I had and uh, be grateful for where I'm started. And uh, I appreciate that. Oh, well, that is so fun. Well, thank you so much for being so honest and open. And, you know, you had mentioned that you don't really talk about this, but I think that is really amazing that you felt comfortable enough to share that because I think there is definitely a lot that I could learn from that, especially you're talking about partners and stuff. And that's obviously a really big topic in my age bracket. Uh, and the dating well. sphere in the world <laughs> is crazy. But I think that's really solid advice is that a lot of girls constantly feel like they're high maintenance. And it's the thing is, we aren't even high maintenance. We just have our own goals and ambitions. And for some reason, some people think of that. They're like, oh, no man will ever watch you because you want to make money on your own. I'm like, what? That makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense because the man that is going to be to get you where you have your vision yeah. is going to want to support you exactly. and is going to be inspired by you. And your greatness is going to create greatness in them. And that's where the 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 magic happens that's where the attraction happens where you're not trying to earn love but it's mm -hmm. given to you and you reciprocate back because you're being built up and not torn down and i think that's so you know i see young ladies you know dressing way more provocative than we did when we were back then my peers of i had talked about it and i just say you know y'all you are so special you ladies are so special and so beautiful at this time that if you need to do that to if you're doing it because you want to that's fine if you're doing it because you think it's sexy or because it's going to attract the guy that you think is cute you're attracting the wrong guy the marrying kind wants to cover you in a blanket <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Well, oh, I think that's so really just fun. remember that too. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank on. you for having me. And I look forward to following your podcast and all that you're going to do and see your success. And it's great to uh, have met you and be a part of just a little piece of it. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. you have shared so much. You wouldn't believe it, but so much that you have said spoke to me so much, especially oh, so this glad. period of time in my life. And I appreciate it so much and I'm definitely gonna make sure that we stay in contact with you. oh I good like I would love to just keep on going and there's so much because I'm in financial services I'm just starting out you've been there for over 20 years 30 years as you mentioned and I think there's just so much that I could learn from you so well I would be stay. happy to help you in any way that I can and stay in touch and I look forward to our ongoing relationship well thank you so much for the time today Kathy I appreciate it tenfold. thank you you guys have you have a great day thank you you as well Okay, bye-bye.